Why look for alternatives when you can use this trick of collecting payment with Google Forms? Using Neartail add-on, you can dynamically calculate totals within your Google Forms and show that in your PayPal link. You can already show your users how much they have to pay and also set that up in the PayPal payment page. All your users have to do is click on it to make payments smoothly. In this video series, we're looking at various ways to accept PayPal payments with Google Forms. In this second part, we're following Elaine's story of how she started with a simple Google Form to collect orders for her scented candles business. In the first part, she found a beautiful trick to add a PayPal.me link in Google Forms confirmation page after her users submitted their orders. We saw why it didn't work for her and how it led to the three unexpected problems of non-payment, wrong payment, and reconciliation of her users' payments. Today, we'll continue with Elaine's story, looking at a better solution she found to receive PayPal payments within Google Forms. Elaine calls and emails her users, that is, the ones who did not make the payments. She wants to understand why they could not complete the step after they clicked on the PayPal link. Some of her users tell her that they either lost themselves in setting up PayPal or connecting with their bank accounts. And others tell her that they forgot to return to the Google Forms to press Submit. After talking to her customers, Elaine realizes that she should not let her users go outside her form after clicking on her PayPal link. Instead, she should keep them within the form or make them return to her Google Forms after they make the payment. So she starts making some changes to her Google Form setup. First, she adds a title description question saying payment method. She includes the special instruction in the description, payment is due before your candle is made. Please include your name or email address in the notes when you make the PayPal payment. Next, she adds her PayPal link in the next line. This way, she keeps both the payment instructions and the PayPal link within her form so it won't be missed by any of her users. She also adds another short answer question to ask for their PayPal user ID or payment reference number. She explicitly adds the description, this information is required for payment reconciliation. She makes the question a mandatory one so that her users won't be submitting her form without missing this crucial information. With all these steps, she knows that this may not be a foolproof way and she can't avoid her users making any mistakes. Yet, this is still a good option for her orders to keep coming in. She sends out this form again to her friends and family circles. The orders start coming in rapidly, and so are the payments. Luckily, not with many manual mistakes this time. So far, Elaine's business is a big hit, so she wants to add another set of wonderful candles to sell. The new candle is the flower-scented candle, which she adds to her list at $15 each. Now, some of her users want to order both her candles, one coffee bean and one flower-scented. Others just want one. Now, she wants to calculate the order total based on how many candles a customer ordered and automatically display this dynamically calculated total on the PayPal link so that the user can proceed with the payment of the correct amount. Currently, Google Forms doesn't have an option to add such calculations. So she turns to the Google Workspace Marketplace and finds the Neartail add-on. It offers exactly what Elaine is looking for and maybe even what you're looking for, to calculate order amount and collect payment in Google Forms. Essentially, how to create a professional order form using Google Forms. After installing Neartail from the Google Workspace Marketplace, she makes some adjustments to her Google Form. Neartail needs the prices of the products to be correctly mentioned in the question description. The currency first, followed by a space, and then the price of the product. This is very important as the total formula of Neartail add-on needs this price format for automatic calculation of the total amount. She makes sure that she has the prices all correct in her form and then adds a short answer question with number response validation in Google Forms.
Next, she clicks on the add-on icon, selects near tail, customize this form, and then customize. In the near tail customize interface, she clicks on the gear icon next to the short answer question for total amount. As a result, the field setting screen is displayed and she clicks on the answer tab. Now she writes the total formula in the calculate option as total open parentheses dollar sign close parentheses. She previews the form and sees the automatic total calculation works like magic. Awesome. Now that the first part of the problem is solved, she needs to get this added to her PayPal link. On the Google form, she clicks on the add-on icon and selects Neartail. Customize this form. Customize. Neartail Customize Admin Interface opens in a new tab. She scrolls all the way to the payment method question and then clicks on the gear icon next to the question. The sidebar opens up with options to customize the title or description. So she goes ahead to customize the original text description where she had the plain PayPal link. She copies and pastes the original text which reads, Payment is due before your candle is made. Please include your name and email address in the notes when you make the PayPal payment. Along with the original plain PayPal link without any amount added to it, it reads www.paypal.me slash the glint candles. Now this is where she actually adds in the total amount field value to the end of the PayPal link. She keeps the cursor at the end of the link and clicks on the add field dropdown to pick the total amount field. It adds the form field ID which starts with entry followed by a big number within a dollar symbol and curly braces. If you are already aware of Google Forms prefill feature, you might have noticed that this is Google Forms way of identifying each form field. While she's making this change in the sidebar, she encloses this link with HTML code with the ahref tag so that it's clickable. After saving this setting, she previews it to test how it works in real time. As she selects her candles one by one, the total amount is dynamically changing along with her PayPal link. Elaine can't believe her eyes. She clicks on the link and ta-da! It works with the dynamic amount. Now you can imagine how happy she is with this approach. It's so easy for her customers to see how much they have to pay and also get the same amount pre-filled in the PayPal link. So she expects the number of mistakes to significantly reduce. Of course, the reconciliation will still need to be done manually. They have to enter their PayPal ID or payment reference number in the other question so that Elaine can quickly verify. With this new method using the Neartail add-on for dynamic total calculation and using it in the PayPal link, she is able to continue taking orders for the coming weeks without frustration. Like me, I'm sure you're also excited to see the total amount in Google Forms appear automatically in her PayPal link. For Elaine too, it all worked well, except for the manual matching of who made payment for which orders. Now she is expanding her business to local associations and other companies to see if she can get bulk orders. She is well aware that she has to once again change her Google Forms to take in quantity as an input. But this time, she is more confident about making new calculations because she has the Neartail add-on. But what new problems with this payments do you think she'll have while expanding her business for bulk orders? Will the companies pay her immediately or just place an order and ask for the best quote? How will she follow up with them for payment? Is there a solution? Sure. Let's talk about it in the next part of this video series on these new challenges and how she solves them. Watch the next video here to learn how to notify and accept PayPal payments for bulk orders in Google Forms. See you there!